This multi-disc setup method were applied to PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and Dreamcast with the correct setup of M3U file. The emulator will automatically pick up the next disc. I will use PlayStation 1 as an example in this video. In this part, I will show how to set up multiple discs with Q and Bing format games. First, I will copy some multiple disc games from my external hard drive into the Steam Deck emulation ROM folder. I have this Final Fantasy IX here, which has 4 discs. Because this is a CUE format game, so it will have 4 Bing files too, so a total of 8 files here. I will copy all 8 files into my Steam Deck's SD card. Once all the files are copied over, I can unplug the external hard drive. Then I will plug in my mouse. I highly recommend to use a mouse and keyboard to process the following step. First, we need to create a new text file and name it same as the game name. Then make sure change the file extension to M3U. All letters are in lowercase. Click OK to create this file. Now we can open the M3U file. Then go back to the ROM folder and copy the CUE file name, include the file extension. Then back to the M3U file and paste the game name and file extension into first line. And keep paste 3 times until you have 4 lines which represent 4 disks. Make sure there is no space in front of each line. After you have all 4 lines ready, then start with second line and modify the disk number for each line. So eventually, if you have 4 disks, then you should have 4 lines and each line indicate 1 disk. Make sure click save, then we can close this file. Next thing we need to do is to move the Q and Bing files into another folder, which is not inside of the PSU folder, otherwise the email deck will detect multiple files. So I will go back to the ROMs folder and create a new folder called PSX Multidisc. Then I will move all the Q and Bing files from PSX folder into the PSX Multidisc folder. If you have other multiple disc games, you can move all the Q and Bing files into this folder. Only leave the M3U file inside the PSX folder. Once you have all the files are moved into the PSX multi-disk folder, then we need to copy the folder directory from the top address bar. Then go to PSX folder and open up the M3U file. Then paste the address in front of each line. Then save the M3U file and close it. At this point, this M3U file is now ready to use. The email deck will treat the M3U file as a game file. It will automatically pick the next disk when it reaches the point. That's how to create M3U files for multiple disk games with Q at Bing format. But if you have CHD format games, or you would like to convert Q and Bing format into CHD to save some space on your SD card. In this section, first I will show how to convert Q and Bing into CHD format. Then I will use CHD format ROMs to create M3U file. First, I will copy the Metal Gear Solid Q and Bing ROM from my external hard drive into Steam Deck.
Make sure the game ROMs are copied into the PSX folder. Then I will use Emil Deck to convert Q and Bin files into CHD format. I have already showed the detailed step in Chapter 3 for converting Q and Bin into CHD, so I will not go step by step here again. Of course, if your game ROM is already in CHD format, then you can skip this converting process. Once the process is done, now we have two CHD files under the PSX folder. Next, I will create the M3U file. This step is exactly same as in Q and Bing file section. So I am not going to explain step by step again. If you are lost here, please go to the first section of this chapter to watch the detailed explanation. Please make sure modify the disk number to match with the actual disk number you have. And there is no space at the beginning of each line. Now I have two M3U files. The Final Fantasy is created from Q and Bing ROMs. The Metal Gear Solid is created from CHD ROMs. Next, all we need to do is to use Emil Deck and add those two games into Steam OS gaming mode. Now we can just launch the games from Steam OS gaming mode. I will start up the Final Fantasy first. Then I will test Metal Gear Solid. As you can see, both games are working very well on the deck. From now on, we don't have to swipe disk manually. Once the game reached to the point, it will automatically pick the next disk. This is all for how to set up multiple disks. 